You know what makes me sick? All this America first crap from Donald Trump. When the federal government spends taxpayers' money, we should use it to buy American products and support American jobs. During my first term alone, we'll invest $400 billion in purchasing products and materials our country needs to modernize our infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, wait. Did he just say use it to buy American products? I wonder where he got that idea. In my administration, we live by two simple rules, buy American and hire American. Buy American and hire American. Buy American and hire American. I've been saying buy American ever since I announced I was running for office and long before that. True. Well, maybe that wasn't such a bad idea after all, Mr. Trump. Another one of those messy moments when he turns out to be right all along. Just wait until Biden asks for a wall. So the rest of us have caught up to Trump. For example, we now realize China is engaging in war against America. And it's not a cold one, but a sleek, lab-built hot war that destroys an economy and disrupts political life with a weapon more modern than a bomb and minus the messy retaliation. But I thought Joe was known for sticking to his guns. I mean, it was just days ago that he was barely able to say this. This guy's whole idea of America, America on its own, is meant America alone. We're out there by ourselves. How can you not remember the second word in America first? And sorry, Joe, creating a policy that stresses buying American goods over non-American goods is actually putting America first. But I get it. He's got a lot on his mind. Plus, it's all covered with plugs. I mean, what does Lonnie know? Lonnie knows I believe this every fiber might be. We're posed. I, what I propose is, is it can be done. I think we're in a position to, to really make it happen. And my team and your team are already working closely together in light, to light up the path forward here. Critical laws like the PRO Act to strengthen collective bargaining. On politics like prevailing and... Pro, look, I guess I'm, I'm getting... I'm, I'm taking too much time, but... Yes, you are. I have no idea what he just said. Love or hate Trump, his sentences actually connect two dots, often loudly. But Joe's words are just like Joe, always in danger of wandering off into the woods. But maybe that's the strategy. You can't criticize what cannot be deciphered. So text Joe at one eight eight eight. I forgot the rest. Where's my soup? So, uh, Jesse, you once said that why should you vote for Joe Biden if Joe Biden is going to be a Trump light? Is this an example of him being Trump light? Yeah, I mean, he plagiarized by American, higher American, basically. It wouldn't be the first time Joe Biden plagiarized in politics. Yeah. But I don't care. I think it's actually great that both candidates from both parties have a more economic, nationalist, populist approach to the U.S. economy. So if Biden moves to the right on this, good. It moves the conversation in the right direction because this is where the conversation's going. It's going to be a less multilateral world. We're going to have more of a kind of a gunboat mercantilism, if you guys know what I'm talking about, Ooh. where we're going to protect our own shipping with our own Navy, not protect the entire world's <laughs> free trade with our Navy. Those days are over. The Cold War is kind of crumbling and we're kind of getting back to American first, and, and Trump was right about it. Now, Joe's gone far left on the environment, and he's gone far left on the defund the police. So I honestly don't know where Joe is at any given moment, and neither does he. <laughs> Lorenzo dropping the mercantile <laughs> in the uh, response. Juan, um, so now we have two Republicans running for president. That's got to be good news. <laughs> Well, you can't say that he's a puppet of the left wing. But here's my take on this. You know, <laughs> President Trump's ratings are, are pretty low right now. They've gone down. But the one area in which he still polls very well and gets the approval of the American people is his ability to handle economic issues. People see him as someone who can do that. And I think Joe Biden and his campaign are speaking to that strength right now 
in saying, well, let's look at manufacturing, let's look at mining, let's look at some of the issues like farming. Has that gotten better? Has President Trump lived up to all the promises that he made about reviving those economic sectors and saying no? And if you elect Joe Biden, Joe Biden says, he in fact will make real on those promises, those failed promises that came from Donald Trump. That's a big difference uh, to offer a positive vision. I think the slogan they have is build back better. And I think what it is is saying, hey, I can really deliver on the economy where the incumbent has not do it. It's a positive agenda. Uh, and I think, you know, you think back to the tax cuts, the whole thing that led to buybacks for the big corporations that enriched the very rich in our country, didn't bring back wages or jobs. And well, I think he's saying that was a failed economic package. And here's an opportunity to actually Live, bring to life what the what President Trump had been talking about. So it's not plagiarism. It's saying let's actually do it and get it done. You know, uh, Dana, who knew that Joe Biden is a jingoistic white nationalist? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, think about where he gave the speech today. Yeah, so it's Pennsylvania. What... Pennsylvania is going to be the main yeah. battleground state, I think, um, coming up in this uh, three and a half months when on Election Day. And so Joe Biden is, has some work to do, especially in these counties where he was today. I understand that um, voter registration for Democrats is down about 20 percent. So if, if he wants to try to find voters who went from Obama to Trump and he wants to try to get them back to his corner, uh, he has work to do. And so that's one of the reasons that you saw him go out there and do this today. The other thing that happened is that Bernie Sanders and Biden have been working, um, their staffs have been working on these committees to try to figure out where might they be able to agree. And instead of moving to the center, uh, as general election candidates usually do, Joe Biden continues to move more to the left, maybe not on this economic issue in particular. But um, I think that Bernie Sanders would be very comfortable with buy American, hire American. Like that's like, that's his whole world. The other thing is that. Um, Biden, as soon as he, as soon as the Trump campaign starts to focus on pushing him to where he is and say he's so far left and he's going to go even further left, he likes what Bernie likes. He wants to give health care to illegal immigrants. He's going to uh, do the Green New Deal all the way. We're going to eliminate all these jobs in Pennsylvania. Like, just relentlessly focusing on how Biden will actually be beholden to the left seems to me to be where the Trump campaign should try to focus in the next few weeks. What do you think, Kennedy? Uh, I'm not a big fan of populism on either side, uh, but it's especially dangerous when it comes from the left because it, it breeds this authoritarianism and then the economy is really going to go down the toilet because what they're going to do is have these federal mandates on, on what you can buy and who you can buy it from it's, it's not just a sense of goodwill mm -hmm. that I want to help out American manufacturers and, and workers and Americans who have great idea and buy their products and services. It is going to be done by force. So when you increase spending, they're also going to increase taxes. There is no greater certain way to tank the economy than to marry those mm -hmm. two devils. And, and that's what Joe Biden is doing with this. And when he's working in concert with Bernie Sanders, who is an avowed socialist, it is horrible news for the economy. And I think uh, the more Biden moves up in the polls, the worse it's going to be for the markets. And they're really going to start reacting to that. And also, it's, al it's always, Dana can tell you this, it's always a great idea to steal whatever is working from your opponent. But if the president were to <laughs> steal something from Joe Biden, what is it? What is his phrase or his idea or the, the foundation of his ideology that is so popular and is working so well that the president would want to borrow from that. I can't think of anything. Yeah, neither can Joe. 